My celibacy journey became successful when I did these three things. Firstly, I realized that me being celibate wasn't about just like me being a Christian and oh, not wanting to go to hell because it was a sin, but me being celibate was really about a journey of healing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, all the love in the world. So today we're going to, you know, be listening to people talk about how to have a successful celibacy journey. Some of them share their experiences and while some, you know, give advice on how to be successfully celibate and I feel these tips are going to help a lot of people that want to be celibate or people that are already celibate so let's watch some of these videos and we'll be back to analyze it my celibacy journey became successful when i did these three things firstly i realized that me being celibate wasn't about just like me being a christian and oh not wanting to go to hell because it was a sin but me being celibate was really about a journey of healing that I needed to go on and being celibate gave me the opportunity to take space. So I stopped thinking of my celibacy journey as a favor to God in trying to be a good Christian or being obedient to him, but I really started looking at it at what are the benefits of me protecting my space. The next thing I did was I went on a sobriety journey. This was really helpful because, listen, if you've ever woken up the next day like, what did I just do? This is for you. I know I would make these decisions while under the influence and the next day I'm like, I need to block them immediately. Like, why did I even do this? Choosing to not have sex outside of marriage and choosing to stop drinking happened simultaneously. Lastly, I stopped using intimate moments as a way of escape. Instead of if I was upset or whatever the case may be, just going to have sex with somebody, I literally just took the time to think about what's really upsetting me, what's really going on. I started to think of healthy ways to deal with different challenges that I was going through. Those are the things that I did that helped me to be able to be successful on my celibacy journey that led to me meeting my husband. <laughs> Okay, so um, before we go into other videos, I would like to say that taking that bold step to be celibate should not be something you do because other people are doing it or just because for one random reason. I feel like you should um, discover the reason you like to go celibate because when you when you when you are aware of the, your goal for something or the objective of something you want to do, it helps. You know in the long run it guides you also you know so why do you want to be celibate what are the reasons do you think celibacy is you know key or important the goal you want to achieve and all of those things and that is what will help you while celibate celibate because celibacy is no joke and you still encounter or experience temptations and all of that but when you define you know your goal your objective why you want to be celibate it will actually help you. I've been celibate for over three and a half years and here are five tips that I have for you in order to start your celibacy journey if that is something that you want to embark on. Number one is to remove people off of social media that no longer serve you or even deactivate your Instagram. When I first went celibate, this was the best decision that I ever made for myself. I literally deactivated my Instagram for a couple of months because I noticed that a lot of times I was so focused on what other people were doing that I forgot to put the focus on myself. Next is one of the most important tips that I could give and that is to decenter man. I'm talking about you are going to go as long as you can without dating a single man and talking to a single man i don't care if it's casual flirting whatever it is get rid of it stop entertaining it stop wasting your time and put that time and effort into yourself instead because you cannot heal when there are constant distractions around you you have to eliminate those distractions in order to get to a place where you want to be number three is finding hobbies unfortunately there are a lot of women that i talk to that when you have a conversation with them and you're like, so like, what are your hobbies? They don't, they can't even list a single hobby that they do or that they're interested in because their hobby is their boyfriend and that's not a hobby. Hobbies include painting, coloring, cycling, going to a workout class, swimming in the ocean, learning how to skydive, learning a new language, being productive in any way that doesn't involve a man. <laughs> Number four is to read self-help books, listen to motivating and inspiring podcasts, go to therapy. If you are somebody that has a hard time like navigating their emotions and you're not sure like why you feel a certain way and you're your friends can't help you therapy is a wonderful tool utilize it and last but not least you have to remember that in order to be the best version of yourself for your man you need to be the best version for yourself how are you going to attract somebody that aligns with what you're looking for the values that you want the things that you want out of this life when you can't even give it to yourself first put the time energy love back into yourself and watch how much not only you grow but how much you attract the right type of people into your life 
Hey sis, so here is two advice I want to leave you with. You don't have to take it, okay? When you are about to start your celibacy journey, please open your ears. Stay away from relationships, from dating for at least six months to one year. Because you cannot start celibacy and start relationships side by side. You would not discover anything about yourself. Six months to one year is enough time for you to discover who you are, your purpose, because everybody has a purpose. Your purpose, your powers, your creativity, your boundaries, your tolerance, your strength, your weakness. This is a period where you can discover them. And you cannot be discovering that those are things about yourself and have a relationship by the side. I'm not saying it's not possible, but you're going to struggle. Because you will need time to focus on your relationship and you will need time to focus on yourself. And it's better you focus on yourself so that we, because it's only when you discover yourself you'll be able to set healthy boundaries for yourself. You will know what you like your powers, your strength, and your weakness. Two, when you have given yourself at least six months to one year to rediscover yourself without relationship, without intimacy, when you start dating, when you go back into the dating game, dating market, do not ever tell a man that is interested in you or you're interested in when you guys just meant that you are celibate. Or that you have been celibate keep that part keep sex off the table in fact sex you guys should not be discussing sex for at least three weeks to one month in the relationship you should not be discussing sex so do not tell a man that you have been celibate because when once a man knows that you have been celibate now two things see that he's doubting you that it's not possible that this girl can keep her leg closed for one year so he wants to go in there to find out if it's true if that place has been closed or he knows that okay this woman is celibate and she's telling the truth that means she's awakened that means she has some power she has discovered her purpose and sex is an energy exchange so he when he knows this information he will do everything he can to get in between your leg so that he can tap from your energy so what do you do you keep that part close you watch this man that's why you have to discover yourself during this period so that you know how to decipher a man that is gold plated and a man that is real gold did you understand you don't have to take my advice have a nice day another thing i would like to add is um prepare yourself mentally because celibacy is not easy you have to try to you know shut down some kind of thought you have to be strong mentally you have to get new hobbies like that lady suggested because those are the things that would help you but you have to be mentally prepared if you want to go into celibacy because if you're not mentally prepared for it if you have not trained yourself mentally to suppress one or two um, desires or emotions it may not work so this is something you have to you know, be intentional about, remind yourself every day the reason you decided to be celibate and why you need to be celibate, you know, and all of that. You have to prepare yourself mentally. It's very, very important. Mental preparation, self-awareness is what is going to help you to stay celibate, okay? Yeah, so do we have people that are celibate watching this video? If you're celibate, you know, if you've been celibate before, can you share experience for those people that may want to join or people that are celibate and they want to be able to relate with people? I'd love to read your comments and, you know, engage with you guys in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe, like this video, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video.